All right, let's do this. Interesting start. Inter very interesting start. Um, right off the back, we're definitely gonna go with a uh, wooden buckler plus that guy for the uh, the thorn, um, thorn thingy. <laughs> thorn thingy. Um, the, the spike shield. There we go. We're gonna go with the spike shield there. Um, and let's get the herbs just because it's on sale. I'm not gonna get the wooden sword because I already got the broom. I feel like the broom is probably better for late game ass shenanigans. Um, but I feel like double wooden sword is probably better for early game shenanigans. But we don't really care about the early game. We care about the late game, and we sh we might win this potentially. Yippee. Ah, there we go, little W. Thank you. Appreciate that. Boom. Um, go ahead and buy you. We need space though. I'll buy both of those. Uh, we got space right there looking nice. However, we don't really have space to actually utilize that guy, but we're going to get the garlic here. Let's combine garlic with the healing herb. I probably, I think that's probably the best play we could do. We could roll here. Interesting. Another healing orb on sale. That's looking mighty fine. I'm, I might be getting myself a hungry blade here. You keep giving me regeneration to turn into vampirism for DPS, my friend. Just maybe. Hello, cherry going against uh looks like double sword with the wet zone pretty dangerous combination but we did get the spike shield here so he's going to be dealing damage to himself while he's dealing damage to us which helps us a lot taking home that w oh a banana so let's get that we need space no brainer we can um honestly switch that around so that we could maybe put a blueberry in the middle of all that action and let's uh get the regeneration um and just say goodbye to luck and then reserve the banana roll a third banana should we get the third banana i don't think so i like healing but we can probably just rely on our healing herb to heal us versus the banana and use the banana for stamina generation because this is a 1.6 stamina usage and that's why we want that second banana i think that would probably be good um let's reserve that and then we can turn that into a torch which is a little bit of a dps upgrade <laughs> For us which is always a good thing um so yeah going against dude with the hero sword with a bro so i also got a banana with the garlic little interesting i believe he probably out dps's us but we out survive him only reason i'm saying that is because we do have the regeneration on our side and we also got spikes uh which helps us with dps so i think our combination is a little bit better even though he does have the hero sword on his side so yeah we take that one home thank you sir Let's go ahead and get the lump of coal, turn that into a torch. We can get this for space reasons, I suppose. And we can also buy that. Um, we could get the walrus tusk here, because you never know. We might find an early thorn whip. Maybe. Which I think would be great. Um, and we could get the carrot, potentially. Mm, maybe. Or we could just roll. Was that a good roll? I think so. I think it was a good roll. We got blueberry with a little bit of space. I think that was a solid roll. Um, I'm gonna move this down here though, just so our banana can get a little bit faster. Maybe we could do it like that. Actually, I think that's. Eh. Or maybe double banana. Yeah, I think double banana is probably better. Oop. Um, damn. I wish there was a better combination I could do here. Probably is, but I'm not really thinking about it. Oh, well, I think that would be good, though. Should be pretty solid for this next round. So, okay. Double whetstone with a regular sword with a broom. He's also got spike shield of himself. He's got double garlic plus banana. We got double banana plus garlic. So, uh, we should be able to out-survive him. But he does do more damage to us because of the double whetstone that he has. So, I'm not sure which one's going to win our survivability or his whetstones. Let's see. Looks like it was our survivability. Barely, though. Good game, man. Barely. Now we got a little bit of torch. A little bit higher DPS and then that 25% chance. I likey like. Let's get some space here. Um, We can honestly just turn that make the bananas a little bit faster. And we can get ourselves a walrus tusk to help us out with DPS. And we can get another blueberry. For no reason. <laughs> For the sake of having blueberries. And we just put them in there, uh, make our garlic 20, 30% faster, actually. Pretty nice. And then let's reserve you roll. I will buy that for sure. We could honestly get the bag of stones as well. We don't really have space for it, though. It could serve as another form of DPS, getting that 2 to 4 damage every... What is it? 4 seconds, I guess? 
Eh, not the best. Eh, I'll, I'll pass on it. I'll pass on it. Um, going against Goober here, though, we might actually lose this one. Because he's got Goober, but he's also got a strong health potion. Deadly combination. So, he definitely outheals us. He's got pretty much the same form of DPS as we do. The only thing that's different is probably spikes here. Since our spikes is a lot better than his spikes. So, we do out DPS him because of that. Um, and we actually win because of that. I'm pretty sure. Pretty good game, though. Thank you, sir. Let's get that by you. Oh. We could go for double spike shield. Which can be a little bit interesting. Uh, I don't think we should, though. I feel like we're leaning more towards mana generation type build because we got double blueberries. We also got the broom. I would probably go for double spike shield if we already had a thorn whip, though, for a thorn build. But doesn't really seem like we're going that way. Honestly, so yeah. I'm going to get the potion belt here because potions are good and we might run into potions uh, soon ish, potentially, hopefully praying for it, honestly. And then we could just put everything in here. Let's reserve that and we'll just start it. We'll just start it. I think that's uh, a good play there. OK, so we're going to get hammer plus Mr. Dagger here. Looks like he's going to probably be betting on poison in order to do DPS to us. However, he does have the hammer plus a dagger, so our thorns is going to help us a lot. But he also has a thorn, uh, the spike shit of his own. And then the secondary DPS of poison takes us out. It's oh wow. I kind of regret that now because now we have a thorn whip. I definitely regret not getting that uh, shield, man. OK, it's OK, though. It's OK. So now that we, we definitely need to have the thorn whip. That's a no brainer. We can sell everything else that we have. And we can get space in order to equip the thorn, which we really probably don't even. Well, let's see. Let's see. Because we could put it there and that works. We can get the Pescalus flask and we can still fit everything. Right. I think that's probably the better play. Oh, yes. I'm so glad I did that. OK, 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 OK. OK. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. OK, let's buy both of those. OK, we win. We should win this next one. Our DPS has skyrocketed because of the Thorn Whip. Literally skyrocketed. Literally, this guy is looking like a poison build, um, which I don't know how to feel about that, honestly. But I, I feel like we should win because we just have Thorns. And Thorns is daddy right now because our Thorn Whip does 14 and 19 damage. And maybe we don't win because poison is just crazy. I'm sad, but now we can deal poison of our own. We can also get the stone skin potion and we need space like crazy right now. Um, man, I want to get this health potion, but we need space right now. I say it's probably better if we get space versus getting this health potion here. Because I need space in order to transform the stone skin potion. Well, at the same time, maybe we can uh, actually just turn that on its side and use this space over here, turn that into a stone skin potion. That way we can still have space for the banana and do a little bit something like that. But we don't have space for the health potion anyways, so we can't really use the health potion, even if we wanted to. Um, We could do a little something like that instead. Yeah, I think that's great. And we just buy space here. I think that's better. And then we'll just reserve that for next round. And we'll call that a day. Let's see. Oh, going against a Bloodthorn. I never like going against Bloodthorns, man. But he doesn't really have any stone generation. He also doesn't have any uh, regeneration regeneration, right? So as far as DPS goes for his Bloodthorn, it's not going to be much, right? He's only got vampirism going for him. Um, so it's only doing 7 to 11 damage while ours is doing 10 to 15. He's got 13, 15 poison on him. And our uh, Bloodthorn is just going to keep increasing in DPS. I say we probably take this one home, honestly. I don't see a reason not to. He doesn't really have any scaling going on. He needs to work on his build just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a, just a tad. Boom. Nice little combination there. We did get a bow and arrow, which we can turn that bad boy into a Tuscan Piercer. Which can help us a shit ton as far as DPS goes. Which I think we should do. We just need money. Um, we don't really have space. 
even if we wanted to, we don't have space for this right now. So I say we buy the health potion. I say the health potion is probably our best bet because we have space for that, right? Unless we can fit it here and sell the spike shield. We're getting rid of that three here, though. If we sell it, we'll get money. Oh, um, let's keep it. Let's just keep it in the inventory for now. We're not really pushing it too much. We got three health on us, so we got a little bit of room to spare and play around with. So I'm not too, too worried about it. Kind of want to figure out if I could fit this guy somewhere. That works, right? That works. Just to have it pointing downwards. Our food situation is a little bit messed up now, though. Um, unless we can figure out a way to fix it real fast. Which I'm pretty sure we can. Let's boom, boom. Honestly, we could just boom, boom like that. And then double down on those. Not much stars being filled up there. That'll work, though. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, and we'll just reserve that. Save this guy. Just in case. And I believe that should be solid looks like we're gonna get another poison build though he's got pandalonium which uh when the food activates those four foods it, in, it inflicts poison he's also got double strong pesticles fast which also inflicts poison on us and then he's also got it inside of the uh the storage coffin which also inflicts poison on us so we're just gonna have to see who does more poison which we already dealt our majority of poison right but we did our poison before he did which is why we have more health than he does um which is why he died. But at the end there, he had 24 poison on us and we had 23 on him. So there's that. But nice little, nice little, um, nice little game. We'll take that W for sure. So now we got the Tuscan Piercer, which increases our damage a shit ton now, which is great. Um, we can get to space here, which space is always a good thing to have. I kind of want to have the flute as well, just for survivability. I just don't know where to put it. I mean, I can put it here. Um, let's buy it. Let's just, I'm going to just buy it for now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Let's get the protective purse. That's a no-brainer. Um, I'm going to put the protective purse there. Just so we can have, like, two forms of activation on this uh on the stone scan potion which i think is good right and we can potentially what if we put it here i mean that's better than nothing right putting it there is better than nothing and then it's got the 20 percent faster because of both fanny packs which is pretty much two extra stars on it so well now that's looking even better um I think that's good, honestly. Yeah, let's start with that. I think I saw it. I think I saw it. I should have probably gotten that mana orb there just for mana generation in general. I think that would have been great, but yeah. I think we should probably win this one. Already doing 19 poison to him. Um, and then DPS from the Tuscan Pierce is also good. Like, a great combination. Great combination. Um, let's go ahead and buy the DJ Limp. Put that guy right there. That'll help us a lot, especially since it's getting the speed from the fanny packs and we can buy the extra blueberry um and we could just uh put it there let's not turn that into a mana potion though um i'm gonna buy the space because i need it be very important and we can call that one oh wow that's a lot of shields why i don't understand why you have so many shields is your main form of DPS spikes with the Ripshaw Blade? Interesting. We're not going to be dealing as much DPS with our Thorns Whip because he's taking away our spikes. Um, and we don't really have any spike generation except for the Thorn Whip. And this guy uses... What is it? Okay, this only uses one spike in order to deal that extra damage. So we only need one spike. But I mean, we're doing DPS because of the uh, poison anyways. All right. So yeah, that's a, that's a nasty W. Interesting build that dude had though. Kind of. Uh, but we'll buy the uh, stamina sack for space. We could get a bloodthorn. The only problem with a bloodthorn is 
Well, we do have regeneration, actually. We got two things of regeneration here. Which can transfer into spikes. The only problem is it doesn't regenerate spikes beyond that. But we do get vampirism. Oh, I don't know. I don't think we do. I don't think even though it's on sale and we could literally do it right now. I say we don't. I, I like the thorn whip. I'm a fan of thorn whip. So I'm, we're, we're going to stick with the thorn whip here. I could get the acorn collar. Uh, well, we don't really have any form of luck generation except for the flute with the blueberries, I guess. But the blueberries really don't do that because we're not getting 10 mana generation right now. So I say we pass on that, too. Um, I do want the bird so we can sell this and get the bird here. It just depends on which way we're going to turn it. I feel like turning it upwards is probably better honestly okay i like that we can get that honestly getting a second degen will probably be good too just for the generation of uh those three items the luck pierce and mana which helps just gotta figure out a spot to put this extra banana that we have which we can do that that works and then the garlic can just be here being a garlic i guess that'll work all right, let's see what we're going against. A fatigue build. A little mini fatigue build, but he does have double mana potion. Or double uh, double health potion with regeneration. A little bit dangerous here. However, we might be able to out-DPS him. He has only, he's only got one corrupted crystal on him as well. So that's a thing. A little interesting. We should be able to out-DPS this guy. Especially with our Tuscan Piercer. His shield's already down. We're doing 38 damage to him. 10 damage right there. 23 damage right there. Come on, Tuscan Piercer. Let me see it. Up, oh, 38 damage right there. We're tied. Fatigue still hasn't kicked in. We're in the lead so far. Nice critical there. Fatigue still hasn't kicked in, and it's it's over with. He's dead. Even if Fatigue kicks in right now, he's still dead. Nice little game. Thank you, sir. Let's move on to that survival run. Um, let's get the potion belt because potions are awesome. Let's get the Degen lamp because Degen lamps are awesome, and we can potentially just move our um. Well, we can do this. Or moving that up by one would be nice, but then where are we going to put the lamp? You know? I put the lamp here, and then just have the second lamp be here. I wonder if it's better to put the lamp on the Tuscan Piercer. Probably not, since the Thorn Whip uh, attacks faster. 2.4 versus 3 seconds. Not sure. I think I'm going to keep it like that, though. I think that is good. We can also just turn that, put that inside the fanny pack, make it a little bit faster. Um, I kind of do want to put the bird inside of the dungeon lamp stuff, I'm being honest. If I move this, like, here... Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. I think that's a little bit better. We can move this up here, put one of the DJ lamps there, and then move the bird like that. That way that DJ lamp's being touched, right? And then we could put that right there or right uh here. Both DJ lamps are being touched here. Both weapons are being touched. The flute is being touched. Everything is looking great. I love it. Um, and then we could just put the food item here and then the generation there for the poison ivy situation. We could reserve this uh, protective purse, which I think would be nice. I think that's a good deal. We'll start just like that. I think that's good. I think that's good. I, I feel like it doesn't really matter which one gets uh, proc the thorn whip or the tuscan piercer. I feel like just both of them getting proc in general would be good. So, oh, we need pineapples of our own. This might be a little bit dangerous. He's got blood thorn with the thorn whip. Stamina generation is going to be insane, but he, I mean, he does have double banana. So there's a thing. What? Oh, so he chose the uh, the leaf instead of the, the poison ivy. I think he should have probably chose the poison. I mean, he, he, he is beating us right now, though. He is beating us. That's the thing. Did we proc? We actually procced. Oh, my God. Come on. Damn. I actually wasn't expecting a proc right there. 
Did we proc twice? How the hell did we proc twice? 51 damage. I was not expecting, I actually wasn't expecting a proc right there. I don't know why we didn't hit him at the end there. Maybe because of stamina? I think it was because, let me watch that back actually. Oh, it's not showing me. Oh, there it is. I could have sworn. Out of stamina. Damn. Okay, so stamina might be a problem that we're going to run into right now. Might damn well be a problem. Um, hmm. Because we were doing 50 damage there. If, if we would have hit, we would have been closer. Might have even killed him. Honestly. We could get a second flute for that stamina generation. That might... I mean, it'll help at least a little bit, right? So let's get that. Let's get the protective purse. I kind of want to. I want to get the lump of coal for that seven uh, defense, in order to get that twenty defense for the proking. If we can get a little bit more of the protective purses, I think that would be good. The thing is, we need a cap. Uh, we need one of the caps, or maybe one of the boots, to make that happen. Um, getting a book of light would be good. I don't think getting it right now really matters too much, so I'm not going to. And we could pretty much just rock that. Yeah, I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. Hopefully, uh, having that flute helps us out with our mana situation. Problem that we've got going on, or maybe we can try making the, uh, the bananas a little bit faster, because none of the bananas are inside the bird right now, so... We can maybe try fixing a problem with that as well. But looks like we might be able to beat this guy, though, unless he starts critting like crazy out of nowhere. He does have the Ripshaw Blade, which is a problem getting rid of our uh, Pierce. However, as long as we have just enough in order for our Tuscan Pierce to do that extra damage, I feel like we should be good here. Plus our poison doing damage as well. We should definitely be taking home the W. Nice 58 crit right there. Did we proc? No, we didn't proc. But still, 58 crit is insane. I guess plus it a plus 8 damage. Doing that 16 to uh, 19 damage. And then the crit the critical. Which, honestly, I, I don't know how we did 54 damage right there. But it happened. The 54 damage happened. Um, okay, we got the cap of resilience. And we got another protective purse. So let's get the protective purse. Combine that with the cap of resilience. Put the coal inside of there. So now we have, what, three protective purses. That's 12 plus the 7. That's nine. We need one more in order to proc that, which will help us a shit ton. We could also get the Car of the Crystal, turn that into a super uh, cap of resilience. Um, hopefully, there goes another stone skin potion. I love that. I love that. Uh, let's see here. How am I going to use it, though, is the question. Um... Moving these items down might be worth it. Honestly. I'm gonna rearrange this. Give me give me one sec. Give me one second. Rearrange this real quick. So moving these items pretty much somewhere in the corner. I feel like could have a massive benefit to us. Cause I want this guy right here. But in order to do that, let's just move you there. That way we can do that. We can put one of the lamps there. Another of the lamps there. And now we just need to worry about the flutage. We could turn this vertical. That works. And then make sure the bananas are in the way of the, the bird. To make them faster for uh, stamina generation. And the flutes would be so beautiful going upwards. I mean, we could do that and put the second flute here. Cap can go there. 
regen can go there. That's not in way of the, what you call it though. Unless I did this. Or rather that. Probably better. Because now it's hitting the bird. All right, so bird is hitting a banana plus the flute plus uh, both of the weapons and one of the Legion limps, which is good. Both of the Legion limps are in a Tuscan Piercer. The main reason why I did this is because it uses less mana. Um, so I feel like it has a chance of hitting more versus just the Thorn Whip, potentially. But hopefully we just won't have a mana issue at all because of double flute, double banana with the bird. I feel like that could just get rid of that problem uh -huh. honestly um and yeah we could get a second bird and just point it like upwards like that which i think could also be good um which honestly i feel like we should do that we won't have enough money next round though we can still do it though let's do that we'll do that next round we'll do that next round oh this is interesting so we're gonna get double fortune it looks like a crit build for sure double fortune is grace with the falcon blade uh, piercing arrow triple down on the acorn collar and he's also got light goober for healing very very dangerous dps oriented build as you can see we're getting dicked on right now but hopefully we can survive long enough for our um poison and doesn't look like it doesn't look like it, especially with the light uh the light goober healing good game though good game good game i'll take that l um so Let's buy this to make everything up there just a little bit faster. We can put the cap there. We can also get the corrupted crystal and the cap of this fun for it and make that a little bit um a little bit better. Um I do want a stone skin potion still. So I'm gonna reserve that. Yeah. I'm gonna reserve that and damn it. Do I want a pesticles? I don't wanna I do want a second pesticles fast, but I think it's okay. I think not getting a second Pesco's fast is fine. And yeah, we can just rock this. Let's roll. Did not get what I wanted at all. I feel like our build is a little bit stuck here. Oh, going against a Bloodthorn with triple Vampire Gloves. Very, very dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. Um, Does this proc? It didn't proc, thank God. Oh my god, 66 damage off the rip. Holy crap. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Man, Bloodthorn build is always going to be incredibly strong. We need more potions, honestly. For survivability, for our uh, debuffs to stack up. Because we are definitely not winning that one. Woo! One more chance. Okay, we got this. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Okay, okay. So, let's go ahead and buy that. I feel like that's a no-brainer. We can also buy the stamina attack here just to put it up there to move this up by one in order to put the stone skin potion down. I think that's smart. Um, yeah, I really need more protective purses though. Well, do I actually No, we have four. What was that 16 plus the seven? So that proc, so we don't need more stone skin potions because both of these are going to proc at the beginning. We got double potion uh, belts already, so we don't need another potion belt. Ooh, that will help us a lot. Don't know where to put it though. Um, we can sell a regeneration to buy it. And let's put it here in both of the bananas okay i mean it's in both of uh the birds which is good um we can put a banana there let's see here i definitely need double uh banana though we cannot not have double banana right now 
So we could just double banana like that. That would work. So we shouldn't have any more stamina problems. And then a pineapple is going to help us with our DPS for sure, which is amazing. Um, we could just sell this blueberry. That's just it there. In order to get the lucky clover. The only reason I'm doing that is for um, the proccing of the, D, uh, the the lamp, honestly. Even though we still need mana to proc the lamp anyways. Um, I think that's okay. All right, let's see how this does. Fingers crossed. Let's see how this does. Okay, versus... Oh, he's got double book of light. He's got the goober. He's got uh, five fucking bananas. But we got a lot more block there because of just that extra stone scan potion, which is awesome. Um, that'll help us get our poison up a lot faster. Or a lot, you know, what you call it. Um, pineapple helps us with our poison as well. DPS with the Tuscan Piercer along with the Thorn Whip. Very, very, very nice. We should be able to out DPS him because he's only got the hero sword with the hungry blade for DPS. He has no regeneration um, for his hungry blade. He's only probably relying on a crit, but I mean, he's got what a 0% chance of crit right now. Yeah, we definitely take this one home. Woo! Definitely take this one home, my friend. Thank you, sir. Take that one. Just live to see another day. Um, let's get the protective purse here. I kind of just want to roll for potions. I'm being honest. I feel like that's the main thing that can help us right now is just potions. And protect the purses, I guess. Maybe another Degen lamp for proccing. Could potentially help. We won't have enough money for it. And this is the last round. Because we need an extra slot. Or we could just sell this blueberry. And get it. That would work. And sell a Lucky Clover for a Protective Purse. Let's do it. More res. More res. Okay. Okay. Last battle. Going against a Fortuna's Grace with the Pandanomium. Not really sure what his build really is. Double Cap of Discomfort as well. Interesting. We got to worry about that Spectre Blade, but he doesn't really have a... He doesn't have a Jin or anything on the Spectre Blade. So as far as DPS goes for that guy, probably not going to be a lot. We should be able to outpoison him. Um, and we should be able to win, honestly. I mean, right, right, right. What's happening here? Are we, are we catching up? Oh, big critical there. Oh, it's a little bit too close for comfort for my taste, but ah, uh, wow. I can't believe we lost at the end there. Still a good game overall, but can't believe we lost at the end there. Is it because of the spectral dagger? Potentially? Let's see. Let me open up this log. The torch did 132 damage with the Fortuna's Grace 111, Pandanomium 86, and the spectral dagger actually did 70. Wow. I'm surprised the torch did more damage to everything. How did this thing 7 to 1, 7 to 8 damage every 1.12 seconds? A 31% chance to gain one damage. A 31% chance. So combining this with the lucky pig and making it fast is just good, I guess. I suppose. Because that goes from, a, I think this is a 25%. So it goes from a 25% chance to a 31% chance. And then it just, every time it attacks, it just gains one damage each and every time. That is kind of crazy. It's kind of like the thorn whip in a way, because every time this hits, it gains thorns, and the thorns increases its damage by one. In a way, it's kind of like the thorn whip, I suppose. We didn't get any procs, so I feel like if we got some procs that game, uh, we would have probably done a little bit better if we had a little bit more shields or a little bit more potions as well. But overall, pretty damn good game. We almost proc there, honestly. If we would have maybe uh, gotten one of the flutes to give us that 12 res, we would have proc for sure. Good game, though, overall. Good game, good game.